Aries, welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your August 2022 general reading. Now, you are already aware that I have a weird accent coming from Germany, but I had a tooth break of a while ago and now I have a little denture and I'm just getting used to it. So that um, means that I'm talking even weirder. Uh, anyway, while you're watching it, there is a um, a um, subtitle button somewhere you might want to click on that <laughs> anyway i hope you understand me i have to um obviously uh get used to the little danger here um and so i have to keep it in and um talk for england and germany which i will do here anyway what we're going to do we will look at your um, entire months and we will divide it into sections <clears throat> so it is easier for you to actually understand it and actually get more out of it and what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2022 for the sign of Aries before we then move on to your emotional core. And the emotional core is about um, healing that needs to happen, old trauma or maybe love is coming in, that sort of thing, before we then finally move on to opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about um, what sustains you financially, if that makes sense. That being said, I only work here. What that means is I'm the medium. Medium means the guy in the middle. Whatever the guides show me or say will come up. And if they change the rules, there's nothing I can do. But for the most part, it will go down just the way I just said it. In any case, if you like my work, you can like, subscribe and share. This will help the, 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 the channel to grow. Uh, it's much appreciated. Also, if you like my work, you can actually buy me a coffee now on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas okay aries are you ready here's your overall energy for the month of august 2022 and remember please this is a general reading it may not resonate with all of you um but obviously i hope it does here we go this is your overall energy for the month of august 2022 for your very sign of aries <clears throat> So, um, what you're being asked in, um, uh, in August is to actually enjoy your life. Um, don't overthink. Really, really important to not overthink. Remember, you're Aries. You're the very first sign. So, you're the sign that other people call on or call upon for help. And it is not in Aries' DNA, if that makes sense, for the most part, to actually ask for help. And so... Having to plan your own stuff, having to do your own thing, it's, uh, it's very much um, who you are. So you are the sign of a doer. But all the guides are saying is, in August, let it all go, go with the flow, and just enjoy your life. And also, do not ever... Um, express yourself uh, um, to, to... Oh, sorry, express... Yeah. yeah. Ex overly explain yourself to others. Because that is another thing that comes up. Um, what the guides are asking you to do is to stand in your in your truth, be be truthful to yourself, be who you are, right? Um, and and don't um, let anyone um, annoy you seriously with their crap. It's not much that I'm getting for the over energy. It's just really about understanding that um, there 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 are energies around you, or people around you, and they all have opinions. And uh, the short answer is screw you. Right? You do your own thing, which is very much in your, in your um, DNA anyway, as the sign of a doer. But stand in your truth. Don't apologize uh, for, for who you are. And please don't overthink, because procrastination energy is quite strong here. So please, please, please be yourself. And if anyone has a problem with it, send them on their way. Okay? So that was your overall energy for the month of August 2022 for the sign of Aries. Now we're moving on to your emotional core. See what the guides can tell us with regards to, uh, you know, love and, and all these kind of stuff. Here we go. Let me just press that button. That's just my insulin pump telling me stuff. Very inconvenient timing. Shush now. <laughs> Here we go. When it comes to, to your emotional core, what I'm getting is new beginning. So this is for, for those of you who are in relationships that need pushing to another to another level. 
and it is for those of you who are mm, sounds wrong on the lookout if that makes sense so so if you are a person that has a long-standing relationship and anything is everything is perfect that really isn't for you this is more about for for people who say you know the the relationship that we're in is a bit has become a bit stale we feel a bit stuck anyway um here's what the guides are saying to you with regards to your emotional core interestingly in august 2022 aries you're not asked to do an awful lot of um healing you're not going through shadow work you're not going uh, you're not asked to um contemplate life this is really you know um hopefully a very warm month and you just enjoy yourself this is the main message for you ultimately with regards to your love life this is what they're talking about <laughs> it is a bit weird because you have um you have relaxation so they're asking you just to to relax around things don't put any stress on it and at the same time take some risk right so if you are interested in someone um so um, <laughs> the way they just make me look at it is is when you're interested in someone there is no opportune moment you can't blend this out to the to a t right just you know grow some balls literally uh or maybe not literally but you know grow a pair go and 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 speak to that person that you're interested in. take some risks because interestingly enough is that when it comes to relationships whether or not they're already existing or are in the planning stage or and or you are planning to bring this to another stage it is important because you have to take risks here so saying to someone are we still a team are we taking this to another level and what is the other level really communication seems to be really really important because ultimately your outgoing energy here for your love life is potential so the more you are upfront about what it is you want to change and what it is you, you you really would like the relationship to be the easier this actually is to uh, to to be achieved um so again as the sign of a doer aries you are the person that is sort of on the forefront of making changes to to your love life if that makes sense right um and that's really all i'm getting for uh, your emotional core now finally let's move on to um your opportunities let's just have a look what kind of opportunities are coming in in the months of august well at the moment i'm using um two decks uh, from uh, of denise lynn um so i'm really interested um, i change decks up every now and then and this morning i was drawn to two decks of denise lynn speaking of card decks I mentioned this uh, in, in in the last month um that we're working on um I'm working on a card deck with a good friend of mine and um when you watch this video till the end you will have um a minute video towards the end about how the the, the cards actually look like and uh, how the deck is coming along because there will be a kickstarter very soon please 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 support this if you can and also it's a new deck bloody awesome anyway to have a new deck right here we go let's have a look at your overall um at your opportunities for the months mm, okay <clears throat> opportunities again are a bit slow in the month of august again it is the time of year where a lot of people are on holiday um it is the time of year where a lot of people you know schools are breaking up and all that. so it's difficult to plan proper things with regards to opportunities um because it is the the months where a lot of people are where their minds are not with a lot of things but maybe you know relaxation anyway what you have is embracing enthusiasm <laughs> embracing enthusiasm is a really weird term it literally just means um <laughs> to be loud you know if you want to achieve something if you want to have opportunities speak up right it's not so much that you should be pestering people but if you saw an ad about a job um or you walk past a, a shop and it says oh you know um job available or something be proactive go in tell them i want this same with moving i'm getting the 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 the, the motion of movement so if you are feeling about moving don't leave it to chance 
and don't just go to one um, company that helps you look for houses if that makes sense so again so with regards to opportunities in order for them to come to you you have to go out not so much looking for them but they will they will present themselves to you but you have to pounce on them much more and the good thing here with regards to your opportunities is you have to protect it by angels card and that just means again it's a big big term it's just you know symbolism ultimately what the guides are saying is while they're asking you to be proactive they're not asking you to be panicky right if things are not for you they're just not for you it is that simple so don't panic don't overly think oh now i have to be super proactive that's not what it is but if you just hang back and obviously opportunities cannot find you okay guys that's all we got you are watching thomas's tower reading with myself thomas Janak. please like subscribe and share widely and um, see you all next month bye bye